AutoCAD. It's a powerful software that gets the job done. However, beginners often make mistakes that can cause errors in their design. For example, let's say I want to attach my 11 by 17 inches title block and click OK. You can see that my title block will come on the wrong size or scale. And this is because beginners are doing the mistake number one, which is their units are set incorrectly. So this can lead to incorrect dimensions, inaccurate measurements and wrong scale insertions. Hi there. Welcome back to another lazy show where we teach you AutoCAD in a way that it's more productive, more efficient, so you can stop wasting your time. So let's remove this title block that is very, very tiny by going to my XREF palette and simply hit detach. So let me show you how to fix this. So if we type units, we can see that under the drawing units, the insertion scale is set to fit. However, my drawing is in architectural and once I have this correctly as inches, look what happened now when I attach my 11 by 17 inches title block. So I'm going to attach the same title block and click OK. And I'm going to specify that 0, 0, origin point and boom, it beautiful placed my title block at the correct scale. So to avoid having this issue, always try to start a drawing with a past project that you did so you can open that up and save us. Or if you don't have an existing drawing that you previously worked, you can start a drawing by using the correct template. Pick a brand new drawing. You will have the option to pick a template. So this way you can pick I arch for Imperial Architecture or Canica and so on. That way you don't have your units set up incorrectly. Mistake number two, not using the layers correctly. This can make it difficult to edit or modify a drawing. For example, let's say I want to edit this reflective ceiling plan I don't need to show doors over here in this specific plan, only the door header. So look what happened when I freeze this door with the regular layer freeze command. So when I freeze this door, look what happened. My entire XREF disappeared and that's not what I want. So let me undo that with control Z and that's because again, beginners are not using the layers correctly. So in order to solve this, what we need to do is of course, open the XREF. As you can see, this is an external reference and it's simply another drawing that we are bringing into this drawing to reference it so we can draw on top of it. So let me open that XREF by clicking and picking open XREF. And here it is, this is the drawing that we are utilizing on the reflective ceiling plan. So that way we don't have to redraw things. Now, if we inspect this door, we can see that this door looks different than this other door. This is white and this is yellow. And if we select this, this is on a layer zero, <laughs> but the yellow doors are on layer door new. So that's the mistake number two. Most of the time we let items to be on the wrong layers, in this case layer zero, and that's when problems arise. So let's quickly fix that. Let's use the match prop command to match this layer to this other door. So that way it's nice and neat. So here then I can simply save my drawing with control S and that way when I go back to my reflective ceiling plan, I can simply reload and now I will be able to freeze my door with the layer freeze command and I will be able to freeze my doors without a problem. The mistake number three would be not using blocks. Yes. So not using blocks can slow down the drawing process and also make it 
less efficient. For example, let's say I want to add a hatch solid to this door over here. So I will have to add my hatch using, of course, the hatch command. And I will be able to hatch this door like so, but I will have to hatch it individually for each door if I'm not using a block, which would be a waste of time. Now, if I'm using a block, I could simply select my block and say edit block in place. And this way, when I edit my block or add a hatch, like in this example, I could simply go ahead and save the changes. And this way, all of my doors will have this change. Isn't that great? Of course, doors that are, are in a block like this one won't have the change because again, we were not utilizing blocks correctly so they can immediately save some time. So mistake number four would be not using shortcuts or keyboard shortcuts. So for instance, I want to select all of my doors and if I make this mistake, I will have to use the se select similar but by typing the entire word, which if you are on a production mode would be very slow to type the entire word for a command so that I could select all of my doors. Of course, the doors that are not a block won't be selected because we are still doing the previous mistake, number three of not utilizing blocks. So to avoid not using shortcuts, we can use the command alias edit. And here, what we can do is add a new keyword shortcut to this long command that was the select similar and simply select that and add a keyword shortcut maybe something like ss for select similar so in that way i can hit ok and hit apply and ok so that way the next time i want to select similar objects, I can simply type SS as my keyword shortcut and boom, I can activate that select similar command. And the last mistake is not backing up your work. This can result in the loss of hours of work if your computer crashes or your file gets corrupted. So it's very important to back up your work. And for that, there are many options. For instance, if we go under the option dialog box with the OP shortcut, we will have a tab over here under open and safe. And one of the first things that you can do is play with the time or automatic save time. Usually I have this between 10 to 15 minutes. That depends on your computer. If you have a powerful computer, you can have it at 10 minutes intervals. If your computer starts getting very slow, try to have it at 15. But this is a very important to make sure your card is automatically saving your drawing on the back. Not only that, but make sure you have this file extension for temporary files. So this simply means that when we go under the files option, there would be over here a path for automatic save file location. So we, if we expand that, we will have a path. So you can simply select or add over here by clicking this option or simply clicking browse. And that way you will set up a folder for your automatic save file location. So for instance, I'm going to copy this path now with control C and I'm going to click OK. And what happens is if AutoCAD crashes or your file gets corrupted or something, you might still be able to go over here on, on the Windows Explorer folder and of course go to your temp folder that I just copied. And here we will have this specific file and let's find it. Here we go. That's the extension AC and this character. So Let's say, if, let's say your AutoCAD crashes, you lose your work, you can come back to this temp file and simply find 
according to the date of course and then you can rename this by pressing the F2 key and change the AC and character for a DWG so once we change that and press enter of course we cannot do it with this one because the file is open but you get the idea so once you change that you will be able to open the DWG again and recover your work and so hopefully after going over these mistakes you can try to avoid them so you work more efficient in AutoCAD don't stop here be sure to check out my AutoCAD test video where you can put these newly acquired skills to the test and see how much you've learned